Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love in General Reading. This is for the element of water. So if you are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or your rising sign, um, these messages are for you. Um, I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do give you clarity. Um, also, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I am Tamaj Tarot on there. Sometimes I do tarot readings, um, and it's mostly just my random thoughts and posts. So, all right, let's go ahead, and this is for July the 12th through the 14th, 2019. All right, so we have the Eight of Pentacles as the central issue. We have the Devil. Nine of Swords, we have the Emperor, King of Cups, Hanged Man, Magician, Three of Swords. Okay, so I was picking up that some of you guys are dreading going to work this weekend. Um, you are so tired of the routine so tired of whatever that job description is although you are a dedicated worker i feel like you show up and on time you're very consistent um but right now it's gotten to the point where you are operating out of fear um you know it's like i don't know what else i would do if i weren't doing this um i don't know what else is out there what other jobs or who's hiring um really i feel like you guys are wanting to be your own boss or you're wanting to start your own business but maybe you don't know where to start or maybe you have been preparing um you've been working on some things but you, yeah this is something that you're very passionate about too but you don't know um what you know is going to happen if you decide to leave your current job i feel like you're you're taking a break you might call off this weekend uh, or take some sort of time off um, or you might go ahead and, and just slip on away and quit the job um, until you can figure some things out I think you're thinking about your family you're like how am I going to support my family without this job or if I'm not doing this type of work this type of job gives me a lot of money gives me the financial freedom that I need but it also takes up all my time um, I'm always finding myself having anxiety now and you're like but the kids my home my responsibilities like you're thinking about all of these things um, so you are unaware or unsure of rather what you need to do and I, I just kind of see you really trying to figure this out you might be t taking a time out so you can contemplate on what your next move should be. There's something that you're needing to figure out or see from a different or a higher perspective here. Um, I feel like you have all the tools available to start your own business or to be a businessman or a businesswoman, but you doubt yourself. You're doubting yourself. You don't believe you're in denial about something. Man, I don't know what this is, uh, but I feel like all the readings have had an element of spell work coming through too. Spell work or witchcraft. But you guys have it in a position where it looks like dark magic. Like someone is trying to bind you to them or I don't know if you are so consumed with somebody that you are trying to bind them. Somebody, I feel like someone's doing binding work when I see these two cards together trying to make someone think about you nonstop, trying to control someone um, through mental manipulation. Um, if it's not spell work, because I know this, um, I don't wanna spook you guys that have nothing to do with witchcraft, but those of you that are already into the esoteric arts knowledge, you deal with people that are uh, around you that practice this, then I do feel like, yeah, someone is trying to do some sort of spell work on you or you them. 
um, if you're if that's just not the situation it looks like manipulation someone is very good at making you feel guilty into staying with them or making you feel that there's nothing else out there for you um, or like you need to stay here or else like someone might be making some sort of threats you'll never see your kids again if if I see you or catch you in another relationship or if you get married to somebody, if you move in with somebody else, like someone is definitely coming off as being very threatening and trying to manipulate you to control you. So I see like mental manipulation going on. I feel like an ex is trying to manipulate you into doing something that you don't want to do or uh, preventing you from going after your goals and your dreams, your desires. But I feel like it's an illusion. Like there's nothing that they can really do to stop you. If it's meant for you to, to be with someone else, then you will. If it's meant for you to um, break up with someone, then you will. Now, with me just saying that, um, I do feel like if someone is trying to separate you from being with the person that you love, like it works, but it might just be temporary. And that especially if you're supposed to be with this person, I personally feel like if you're truly meant to be with someone, um, spell work is only temporary. You can only, it only makes people argue or irritated or frustrated with each other. But eventually I do feel like two people will get back together if they've been separated by spell work and they're meant to be together. Um, I, I've said this before. Now, if you aren't supposed to be with someone and someone so happens to use spell work to break you up or you do it um, and they, their breakup remains a breakup, I feel like the, the spell work was just a catalyst. That was the vehicle the, the breakup had to come in. If it hadn't been spell work, it just would have been an argument or a third party that broke some people up. Speaking of third parties, there could have been some sort of betrayal. Maybe someone was a narcissist, someone was a liar, someone kept leading you on and promising you that you would be together and they never fulfilled that promise. I see somebody really thinking about family, um, especially I'm seeing like single father vibes here. If you're single, um, I feel that there is a single father that is coming towards you. This person comes off as very stubborn, maybe even mean or unemotional, but they're very emotional and very nurturing once you get to know them. This, this outside behavior character is just for their protection this person can't let people know that they're a sensitive person because they come across the, the wrong female, they'll take advantage of them. So this person needs to observe and make sure that they can trust you before they become vulnerable with you, before they can open up with you. They need to have that trust. And I feel like this person is very genuine and very intuitive. Um, now I know for some of you that are you know older or just not wanting children anymore, you know, you can just X that part out. That part's not for you. But this in general or overall, I get that this person is very nurturing, very nurturing person. So let's OK, picture Arnold Schwarzenegger and how he was in a Terminator um, or any guy. Think of Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, whoever. Think of this big, strong image of a man that is coming off very intimidating. You would not expect this person was very nurturing. This person likes to come home and rub your feet. Um, this person wants to ask you how your day has been. This person wants to spoil you, dine you. This person is very sensitive regardless of this exterior that they put on. Um, now I also get someone who is also either psychic, intuitive coming towards you. 
So if you're single wondering if someone is coming towards you, I do feel like someone has their eye on you, but they're not saying anything. They're being very observant because like I said, they want to make sure that they can trust you. But once the emperor is ready to pursue, he comes head on. Once he's made that decision, he comes after what he wants. And so right now you are the object of desire and he does want to be with you, but he's waiting right now. He's just kind of strategizing. He's, he's getting his plans together of how he wants to approach you. Matter of fact, I also see this as someone who is maybe obsessing over you or you could be obsessing over someone um it's to the point where i can't shake them I, I dream about them every night i keep going to their pictures i keep going to their social media i just can't stop thinking about them i keep rereading our text messages um so i feel like someone is reading something over and over again they're like trying to read between the lines. So also if someone has been trying to communicate with you indirectly, you might be examining the things that they're posting or writing and saying, are those messages for me? I think those messages are for me. I think they're talking to me. Like your intuition is telling you that these messages are for, are for you. Um, but you don't want to say anything just yet. Maybe you're afraid that you're going to get your feelings hurt. Maybe you think this person is just doing something for show. I see someone who does, uses something as a weapon. Either someone uses their spiritual gifts as a weapon or someone uses their body as a weapon. So, I mean, what I mean by that, like, let's say you are already in a relationship and I feel like your partner is the type of person where they can coerce you into doing things, you know, by holding out on sex. They're like, um, you know, we're not, if you're going to do that, if you're not going to do this for me, then, you know, you can forget about some hair tonight or you can forget about sex for, you know, so someone might be dangling sexual favors and desires over your head if you don't conform to what they want you to do. Now, if this is something that is ongoing, it just keeps happening, I feel like you might eventually part ways with this person even if it is just temporary it's like i need I, i'm real i'm starting to see you in a different light like i don't know if i like the person that i see um i don't know if this is the person i want to build with i think you're coming off very manipulative you you play mind games and you might decide that hey i think we need a break or i want to i want to uh, separate from you But I'm getting some of you, there is someone that you haven't heard from and you've been thinking about them nonstop. And this person is still in your energy field and they want to re-enter. But you guys are communicating with each other indirectly. Let me look at the Three of Swords here. And it could be anybody. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe Libra, and maybe Virgo. I see you being lured away from somebody too or someone is trying to lure you away I think what it is is that someone is wanting to approach you, but they were hurt in the past or you hurt their feelings. 
before and you know maybe you or them are too emotionally sensitive to deal with being hurt again so someone is taking extra precautions before they move forward in a situation um there's a need for someone to overcome their anxieties or overcome their insecurities before they come towards you or before you reach out to somebody. There's gonna be a new beginning, a new start. Yeah, someone wants to start over. They're like, can we just start over? Can we start fresh? Can we just forget about the past or how things ended in the past and just start over? And I feel like that's what's getting ready to happen. Yeah, see, somebody has not been able to get over you or you them. Um, I feel like someone's been praying about something, praying for clarity. Someone has been saying, am I, is, am I under an illusion? Do I really love this person? Am I really in love with this person or is it an illusion? Um, yeah, I feel like some of you are trying to distinguish if you're also just deeply in love with someone or not. But I also see like anxiety holds you back or someone is prone to anxiety attacks um, or in a love situation, this person triggers your anxieties. Someone's been crying and hiding it. Someone doesn't want you to know that they've been crying about you or very emotional about you or you them. Like I feel like someone has really been praying and praying. Mm. I also feel like someone feels as if they're being seduced or like I said, lured away or lured into a trap. It's like, are you playing with me? Are you serious? Or are you just trying to trap me? Are you just playing mind games with me? Are you real or an illusion? Is this real love? Is it lust? Is it, you know, I, there's just something going on where there is a fear of being vulnerable and a fear of opening up. But for the most part, I, I feel like someone wants to start over. Some of you I know are gonna be like, I don't wanna start over. I don't want nobody from my past. Well, then that part's not for you. Or you keep thinking that I'm referring to one person when it's actually going to be someone else. Let me look at the hanged man. Somebody is scared to fall in love. It's like I've been there before. I've seen what happens. I've experienced what it's like when it ends. I don't want to fall in love again. That's almost like not wanting to get a pet again because you know how it was when they died. Like you feel like you're protecting yourself by not falling in love, but it might just make things worse. If there have been, if something has been placed on hold, um, I feel that after this clarity, you're going to be released from that hold because there's going to be communication again. Someone's going to let their guards down. Someone wants to apologize or someone wants forgiveness. So I just feel like either way, there's going to be an exchange. There's there's going to be apologies and forgiveness, maybe on both ends. 
but I, I feel like there's a need to hold out until you get some sort of confirmation or clarity about a situation. Could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I'm also getting someone hesitating on asking for help or assistance. And I had that in one of the earlier readings too. I feel like someone, someone wants help or assistance, but they don't want to ask. I feel like if that's you, if you are withholding from asking someone for help or assistance, that they will say yes. They will say, of course, yeah, come on. Or yes, of course you can borrow this. Or yes, you know, I just feel like they're going, you're going to be okay. Your faith will be restored here with, you know, here, five of pentacles, you're lacking in faith, you're lacking belief. You just feel a lack of something, but you know, there is going to be fulfillment or wish come true or dream come true for you. So yeah, you're going to get the help that you need. If you felt ignored or rejected, you're going to have the love that you needed because this could have been some sort of miscommunication or um, misunderstanding. So there's going to, like, things are going to turn around for you. There's going to be some sort of positive change. And if there has been any frustrations in regards to your relationships, I feel like it had to do... Um, with transits or something, you know, sometimes those planets, they, they cause problems in the sky and we feel it. We feel the result of those, uh, irritated planets. Um, I feel too, like when a time is right, you are going to be able to start that business too. You need this much needed break. Maybe some of you were afraid to ask. I mean, were afraid to take the day off uh, of work. But I feel like you're, it's a much needed break. And you may be happy that you did. I see you spending time with people you love or spending time with a family. All right. So what additional messages are there for water signs cancer scorpio pisces sun moon or rising for this friday saturday and sunday Okay, so we have broken heart, patience, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, man holding a coin. Uh, okay, so yeah, so somebody has been hurt. Maybe someone hurt your feelings. Uh, maybe an ex wants to apologize. Maybe you want to apologize. I just feel like that's happening. Like someone is, is willing to open up their heart chakra. Someone will be willing to trust again. Um, but the heart chakra did need healing. You might even have been detecting, if you're an empath, you may have been feeling the pain of uh, your twin soul, your, your twin flame, or um, someone that you have like a, a spiritual connection with. You may have been feeling their energy as well. Or something intuitively tells you that you need to reach out to somebody. So I feel like there will be uh, some sort of healing of the heart. I feel that if you've been waiting for uh, some sort of confirmation or proof to move forward with someone that or if it's OK, maybe you've been wondering, like, is it OK to reach out to them? I feel like, yes, this is confirmation that it is. Maybe someone's already been waiting for you to reach out to them. Um, I do feel that someone wants to mend things. 
Um, if you are separated from a job or if you do decide to leave a job, I feel like you're going to find something else. There is another opportunity for you waiting, something that you actually care about, that you do have heart for, something that you're passionate about. Um, I feel too like if you if this is a love situation, you might be again dealing with some sort of earth energy and you need to have a lot of patience with this person because their energy is very slow paced. This is someone who does not rush into anything like we have the emperor. You need to have patience for this person. Um, also, it could be that there is already someone in the picture that's going to have patience for you. Maybe you're the one that needs uh, someone to be patient with you. And I feel like this person is is the one that can be patient with you. They know how to um, give you space. Like, especially if you, you know, ask for some sort of space. They're like, okay, they're a patient person. They're like, I understand. I've been through that. I can give you your space. But at the same time, they're very intuitive and they know when you're ready to talk again. So I feel like they can feel your energy and when you're ready to talk talk they will be too so there is some sort of understanding that i feel that you're having with someone um sometimes maybe you feel like time is running out but you know it's not i feel like you're fine everything will happen when it's supposed to everything will happen when it's supposed to someone is wearing someone wears their heart on their sleeve I get too. I'm also picking up someone with long hair. I don't know if your love interest has long hair um, or if you have long hair, but I'm getting something in regards to someone having very long hair. Or maybe you like to play in their hair. Mm. I also feel like someone is gifting you with something or you may be getting ready to gift someone like someone has a gift they've been holding on to they're like I'll wait until the time is right and I'm going to give them this gift so I feel like maybe someone went and purchased something for you but they haven't given it to you yet or vice versa um, I'm also getting like this gift maybe it is what you've been praying for from the universe like you've been praying for love maybe you've been feeling lonely or brokenhearted and you've been patiently waiting for a long time so i feel like eventually the universe is giving you answering your prayers and gifting you with someone who's going to have patience with you especially if you feel like you've gone through a lot of um abandonment issues and maybe that is where the trust is or, you know, the healing process needs to take place. Like you've finally been gifted with someone who is going to be there for the long haul. All right. So that is all that I have. I hope it resonated. Uh, please feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Many blessings to you.